getting hot out there. We're sweating. We have menopause. We have hot flashes. What about foundation? Is it gonna hold up? Are we gonna be able to wear it this summer? I'm gonna dive into five foundations that I think are fantastic for the mature woman for summertime use. Let's get into it. Hello, my friends. Since we are not filming on my bed anymore, Ollie is not here as much, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you him today because Tomorrow, Ollie is going in for his little snippet procedure to uh, not make him such a wild man and tame him a little bit. So he's gonna be having a little bit of an operation tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd show him to you before it all went down. So mommy's nervous, yes, but hopefully it will all go really, really smoothly. Okay, we're going to be talking about foundations today and the best foundations that you can wear during the summer. Most of you that have been with me a while know this, but some of you you that are newer do not know that my skin type is very dry especially in the winter when that forced air gets put you know coming down onto the face onto your skin i get to be a very dry dry woman and it is really hard to be able to find foundations that work now in the summertime it gets just a little bit tricky because not only are we dealing with what the heat is and things melting off of our face but personally i am 53 now and and I have menopause to deal with, which melts makeup anyway, all by itself. So I've come up with the foundations that I really, really love for my mature skin in the summertime when my skin is more normal and I possibly need to fight that breakthrough a little bit more than normal. So I wanna start out off with what I am wearing today which is right here and this is the multifunction formula from Mison. I guess that's how you say it. Mison, maybe Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream. This has an SPF of 50 in it and I will make sure that I list my shade. I did get this off of Amazon. This is very very orange on me though. So it's not a great color for me, but the product itself I love. So I do use my color correcting little pitter patter of feet over there. I do use my color correcting with my LA Girl pigments, and this one is the blue. This one is the white. I recently did a video on that that I will link for you so that you can see what I'm talking about. But this foundation for me, because my skin does feel a little bit more normal, not dry, not oily in the summer, I do get some breakthrough right through here and right in my chin area if I'm not careful. But what I love about this is that it is a BB cream or it has good skin loving ingredients in it and it doesn't dry out my face so it's kind of just a really beautiful happy medium there between um, dry and oily so it is definitely for normal skin i feel like although i do feel like i'm going to be able to wear this in the winter time i'm really really enjoying it right now i haven't had any breakthrough it does stay on for a really long time it goes on very satiny and it's got like a medium coverage to it so that satin feeling kind of dries down after a few minutes i shouldn't say dry down because that's a, you know the, the dry word but definitely it feels like it's setting down on my skin and i ha only have to use a tiny bit of powder in those areas in order to keep the breakthrough at bay love that one this one right here this one i would say if you're oily you need to steer clear of but if you're dry or if you are that normal kind of combo skin this is a gorgeous foundation for the mature woman or any woman actually this is the zoeva authentic skin foundation this is a dream. I have talked about this so many times on my channel and I kind of have gotten away from it the past year, but it was my number one foundation for a couple of years and I felt like there was nothing out there that could, could compare to it. Now, what this is, is it is a luminous natural foundation. So you want to be really careful with it as far as, you know, make sure that you wear a primer, make sure that you wear a powder if you are experiencing breakthrough. If you're not, you're gonna love this it is just one of those foundations that glides on your skin makes your skin look so perfected you don't have to worry about wearing you know extra color correct or anything it's a medium slash full coverage i wouldn't say that it is a full coverage because it can be built up but it definitely can be sheared out as well if you want to put it into a moisturizer put it into a primer you're going to have an absolutely gorgeous just sheer finish with it it's one of those foundations that is so versatile and I feel like for the mature woman, the woman over 40, this foundation ticks all those boxes 
very long lasting on my skin so at the end of the day i'm going to be taking it off it's going to be on my rag when i go to wash off my makeup it's not going to be rubbed off during the day so i really love this one the next one is from revlon and this is the revlon color stay 24 hour this one is the normal to dry I wear this one year round, whether it is summer or winter, whether I'm experiencing dryness or whether I'm experiencing a little bit of the breakthrough and a little bit of the sweating because it is so good. It is one of those foundations that is pretty much a full coverage foundation. So this is one that I wear more when I'm wanting to go to an event, when I want my foundation to just like be there all day long and it's just going to have that super lasting power i think this foundation is gorgeous for women that are over 40 and all of these foundations that i'm talking about they don't settle into dry lines they don't settle into wrinkles they won't accentuate your pores and your texture that's why i still have them around is because they perform so well and this foundation is no different it's just a beautiful foundation it glides on your skin i would suggest that you probably put this on with a foundation sponge a beauty blender or a beauty sponge of some sort because that gives a little bit of you know being able to blend it out a little bit more evenly it is a little bit thicker so if you're somebody that doesn't like thick foundations especially in the summer kind of steer clear of this but for me when like I said if I want to go somewhere where I need my makeup to be on all day I'm gonna reach for this one it's so good in the number two spot is a foundation that kind of has taken me by surprise I tried this foundation when it very first came out. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear, and I did not like it. I felt like it was patchy. I felt like it just really showed all of my lines. I was so not impressed with it, but recently I picked it up again because I'd heard so many mature YouTubers talking about how great it performs, and I've kind of fallen in love with it. It is super long wearing. It lasts throughout the day. You're not going to have any transfer or breakup or anything go on with this foundation. Now, I will say that the colors that this foundation is in, they just kind of leave a lot to be wanting because they so pull orange. Even though this is called rose which you know to me makes you think that it should be have a pink undertone it's a rose beige it says even though it says that i still have to color correct it and make it be a little bit more on the cool side but wow as far as per performance goes the way it makes my makeup look how beautiful it is this is it and this is the one that i just put in my video right before this one so if you want to see this one in action you can go ahead and look at that my number one foundation will not be any surprise to any of you because this has been my number one foundation for like three or four years whether it's um, summer or whether it's winter but I find that in the summer it's even more nice because there's no break apart and that is the number seven lift and luminate triple action serum foundation this has been the foundation that changed everything for me because so many foundations I had given up on they left me looking like I had texture they would break apart I just was on the never-ending search well once I figured out that this foundation was going to be the most beautiful foundation I'd ever tried then it was like all other foundations had to live up to this so when i talk about these other foundations even though i'm talking about how long wearing they are they have to stand up to the test of does it perform as well as the number seven lift and luminate i can say that most of these perform very close to them it's not an identical one or this wouldn't be in the number one spot for me this foundation has the most natural look to it it isn't luminous it isn't glowy it isn't dewy but it isn't matte it doesn't look flat on your skin it gives you an incredibly beautiful complexion and especially for me when i have all of these really deep pores through here and on my chin and then i have all kinds of things that i want to cover it covers like a dream. It wears like a dream throughout the day. It is for me, it is, and probably will be for a very, very long time, my very favorite foundation. And you can rest assured that it will perform on your skin so beautifully. I have never heard anybody say that they couldn't get this one to work. And that's saying a lot because I know a lot of you do test out the ones that I talk about. So if you're one of those that has not had good success with that, let us know that down in the comment section because that skin type is one that we would want to know about for this particular foundation. And 
that is it for the top five foundations for mature skin for the summertime. Now, I know that you all try so many foundations too, and I would love to hear about those foundations in the comment section. If you want to tell me the worst one you've ever tried in the summer that broke apart, you didn't have it, it melted, whatever. Or if you want to tell me your very best, that is a dream for you. I would love to hear about that in the, in the comment section below. Thanks guys so much for spending some of your time with me and we will all meet together again here next time for my next video. Love you guys. Bye.